Alright, this tutorial I have going on here, I'm going to show you how to crack a Windows password using OfCrack. Let's go to Google. Let's go ahead and show you what OfCrack is first. O P H C R A C K. OfCrack. Go ahead and search that. It's going to be your first one right here. OfCrack is a Windows password based on the rainbow tables. This pretty much puts rainbow hash tables and cracks it. The local SAM file or remote. So, what you're going to want to download. It's the live CD. It uses the operating system Slackware. It's a Linux operating system, so you're going to have to make a bootable disk or a bootable USB thumb drive for this to work. So when you go ahead and click download, you're going to go to Source Force. It's going to take you right here. Then you scroll down. Go ahead and pick the newest version. I already have it downloaded, so we're not going to download that. And you have to look at one of my other tutorials how to burn a live CD or actually make bootable USBs. So that's already downloaded. So once you make that bootable, then you're going to have to boot up to that disk. But for this demonstration, I went ahead and used VirtualBox. You may have seen in some of my other uh, tutorials I have how to use this and how to run Linux and Windows. Well, what I did is I took Windows XP and I installed it on a virtual hard disk so I can record right here and show you live and now I have OfCrack the ISO I had downloaded right there and I mounted the Windows XP hard disk so all the passwords in the Windows XP right there that I installed are going to be ran through here when you boot up this live CD it'll actually mount your hard drive and look through the SAM files so let's go ahead and start this and show you what it looks like we're going to boot this up Ovecrack Live CD hitting a key there we go uncompressing Linux this is actually a really simple program to use and it's very good if say like a family member lost you know a password or if you have like you bought a computer and you wanted to see what was on it or you didn't want to lose the operating system at all because you didn't install it this will actually help you get the administration password or any other user password you can get off the system. So it's a really it's a really nice tool to have around. You never know when it's needed. But so I'm running this as a virtual machine. This is actually how it looks when you're booting up the disk. There's gonna be no changes. Alright, so here we go. It's loading up. As you can see right there, I'm going to go ahead and move this for a second. Okay, as you can see right here, it found the hard drive, the Windows System32 config, found the system file and the SAM file. Right here is the eclipse time. We're at 19 seconds. I have two names, one Zayden, and we're going to go for the administrator. Support help and guess you don't need to worry about those you want the administration the most or a username see within 38 seconds it got this password super 81 with a capital s u p e r 81 four lowercase letters two numbers and a capital as you can see right now it splits it up into two parts so this was only part one, so we got that, and the NT password is finalized. As in for the administration, it's got the second part down. Now all we need is this first part. You don't go by like super how it's a capital, you don't go by that, you go by this for the final password. So we're at 80 seconds. We're still trying to get this one part, the password. That's it. There it is. So the actual password is right there. 
in about almost a minute and 30 seconds we got two of the actual passwords that are needed so there you go you'll be able to crack it very fast some harder passwords if people know how to create really good passwords capital bunch of lowercase a symbol and some numbers you could take about five to ten minutes but this is a really nice program to use and if you have any other questions about how to use this let me know I can help you out let me go ahead and close this out for you and then I can always mount this back and show you let me go ahead and mount this first in VirtualBox you have to unmount the hard drive and now I'm going to remount it back on here primary XP hard drive okay and I'm going to remove this because I booted up my uh, disk to install it on the virtual hard drive so now I'm just going to boot right to the hard drive okay now we're going to boot up Windows XP inside Windows XP. Pretty lame, huh? But it's good for testing purposes. Or like the tutorial I'm showing you right now. Alright, so that booted up pretty fast. Let's go ahead and try a password. Oops, wrong button. Okay. Super 81. There you go. Password was successful. And I got an error. Ooh, well you know Windows is awesome with errors. Password protected. Change my password. Super eighty one. So there you have it. That's a nice little error we got already. Go close that, close that, whatever. Shut this down. So if you like my tutorials, please subscribe, post some comments, tell me what you want to see, and I'll show you. Tutorials about almost anything legit. Okay, have a nice day. Thanks for watching.